Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here, I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can upload a video for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on more of my air fryer videos. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up so I know that you like videos like this. And today we're gonna go ahead and make some onion rings in the air fryer. It's just an extra little treat for um, maybe a weekend, attending a party. You can bring your air fryer anywhere with you and fry them up at anybody's house if you would like. So today I have everything set up and ready to go. I will leave the recipe in the description on what I did to make these. I know in my last video, I kind of showed you guys um, how to do some of the stuff. It was the churro recipe. I kind of gave you an idea of how I made them at the end of the video. I won't be doing that today, but I'll just go along and show you some of the stuff that I did to get ready for today to make this video. So what I did is I have my plate full of yellow onions. I did not get the kind that was suggested in um, the thing because we couldn't find the kind that um, were suggested. So that's okay, just go ahead and use any kind of onion that you would like. I did cut them in like a half inch, good sized chunk onions. So that's ready, ready for that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your onion, you're gonna put it in your flour mixture first, you're gonna put it in your buttermilk, and then you're gonna roll them around in your um, panko red crumbs. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna show you what temperature and stuff that you need to put your air fryer on. Now with your air fryer I know um, on some of the recipes it's saying that you could preheat your air fryer if you would like to. I'm not going to I'm just gonna set it to the temperature that it's needed for this recipe. So that's all I'm gonna do. So go ahead, if you guys wanna preheat yours, you can. I know in the past that I've did 400 degrees for five minutes just to heat it up. So that's something you can do extra if you would like, but I'm just not going to today. But I'll get into the temperature and what degree you have to have it on in a couple minutes. Let's just go ahead here and get things going with the onions and get them topped with everything. I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer so you can kind of see what I am doing here. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm just going to lay this out a little bit over here. Sorry, I don't have a lot of counter space to work with here. So this is just what we're going to do today. Another thing with your onion rings on what you can do is when you place them in your air fryer, what I'm going to do, and I will show you in a little bit, is you can, you kind of want to stack them in, um, you know, uh, space out a little bit but you can also put an onion ring inside an onion ring so it kind of takes up another space and then it'll fry, it'll be fine with uh, frying up it should still cook all the way through both of them so i'm gonna go ahead and put one of them in here just gonna coat it a little bit with my flour mixture and then i'm gonna put it the buttermilk all over it and then I'm gonna put the breadcrumb mixture. Okay, so I put the um, breadcrumbs on there. I'm going to go ahead and continue to do this. So you're just gonna coat it. Here, I'll show you. I'm just gonna coat it with the flour, put it in my buttermilk mixture, put my breadcrumbs on top, stick it right in the air fryer. Flour again, buttermilk, mixture. You can do a couple at a time too. You don't need to, um, you can just kind of throw a bunch in here and do it like that. So, buttermilk. Okay, so 
So I will show you guys. Yeah, go show your brothers. Okay, so if you hear hear the kids in the background, they're just playing over there, but I'm just gonna show you my um, single layer. See how I have it single layered right now? Now I'm gonna add to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just coat again. Now I'm going to take this onion ring and I'm gonna try to find one that I can just wrap it around see if you see I have a double layer you can go ahead and do that and that'll work also and you can cut your onions as thick as you would like So I'm finished with the first batch of onion rings and then I will um, do this next batch at another time. I usually just show you guys like quick and easy one batch um, meals. If you want, we always cook up more just because we have a lot of kids and we just make more. And it's not too much longer if I just use the air fryer. I know a lot of videos I was saying that it would be easier just sometimes to just use my oven depending on the size I want to make. But if you're just making quick things like this, this is like just use your air fryer. So I'm gonna wash my hands quick. Okay. All right, so I got all my onion rings coated with everything that I wanted to coat them with. And now I'm going to set my air fryer for 400 degrees. And we are going to cook them for six minutes. And let it start. Okay. So after the six minutes, what you're gonna wanna do is take your um, cooking spray. You can use any kind of cooking spray you would like. Um, you can use olive oil or anything, but you want it to be a spray. And this is why. It, once this is done, I'm gonna give it a quick spray and then cook it for another six minutes. And that is gonna make it nice and crispy. A lot of times with the air fryer, you need oil to cook with. So this just adds another extra layer of crunch to the batter that you have in there already. So I'm gonna come back when the six minutes is up and I will show you me spraying them down and then I will cook them for another six minutes. I'm going to spray them down. And I'm going to cook them for another six minutes. and I will come back and show you guys how they turn so out. So I quick made up another batch just so I can show you guys. I did a quick tip. If you are cooking with your air fryer and you're making a couple batches, you really want to keep track of your minutes for your cook time because the more you cook, the hotter your air fryer is going to be and then you're going to end up having burnt food. Another good tip they say with using the air fryer is the good thing about it is that you're not gonna lose heat every single time you open it up. So you can keep opening it up if you're uncomfortable with how long you wanna cook your stuff. Uh, especially when you're making things like like we did today with the onion rings, just because it, they're so like kind of delicate with the batter and stuff like that, we don't wanna burn it. So I'll give you guys uh, up close on what they look like, okay? So I'm gonna try one out. I know I love onion rings, but I'm gonna have one of my kids come over here and try it. I'll try have a kid that likes onions. Do you guys wanna try it? Mama's gonna try it first, cause I know that I like onion rings, so. I like onions. Oh. 
Okay, I don't usually like ketchup with any of my stuff. I know that I'm just um, maybe one of them weird people that don't like ketchup. I don't know. So that's a thing that you guys just learned about me. I don't like ketchup, but I like other um, toppings and stuff. So I'm going to just try it out with ketchup anyways, just to see if I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. You're pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so Hudson, how do you yeah. like it? Uh, it's a little good. You, it's okay? Yeah. You don't really like it that much? Uh, what about you, Miles? Uh, I guess, but I like it like, with ketchup, but I do not. Because really you don't like ketchup, right? Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, you no, want to try I that? Like it with ketchup, okay, Nash, you have one? Yeah. Declan, do you like it? No. Do you guys like it? No. No? no. You don't like it? Okay, put it in the sink then. I, I, you I don't like it, like it either? I like, I like it. No, it's so it. good. I like it better with ketchup. I'm going to try it with ketchup. You're going to try it. Nash is going to try it with ketchup. Okay. It? You like it with ketchup? Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully you guys like that quick and easy little snack that we made today with the onion rings. If you guys have any other ideas or any other recipes that you want me to try in my air fryer, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys. And like I said in my other video, if you guys have tried anything and you guys liked it, please leave that also in the comments below so I know what you guys tried. Or if you tried any of the ones that I have made, um, let me know. That would be good to know if if you guys are enjoying um, some of them things too. If there's something like different and out of the ordinary that you guys have tried in the air fryer, also let me know about that because I would love to try it. And other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.